M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's add the new firmware 1.24 into our ICOM 52. First thing we're going to do is prepare the SD card. We do have an SD card in here. If you've never put one in before, you need to go to menu. We'll quickly check our firmware version. I have already done it on this, but we're going to check it anyway. Set, then go down to others, and then information version and I, I've already updated it but you can see that's how you check to see what you've already got now back out this time go to SD card go up select SD card if you've never put one in before select format and enter if you've already got you know if you've already got a, a backup then that's fine because what will happen is during the firmware process it will ask you to back up anyway so back out so what you want to do is unmount it. So go down one and just select unmount and press the middle button. You'll get the message and then up one to yes, unmount. Okay, and then turn it round and push it gently and then take out your, your SD card there. So just about get it and it comes out this way. Then over to the PC. Grab your SD card and put it into one of these adapters and put it into your PC. I will copy and paste the changes from version 1.23, but it mentions Bluetooth, GPS, and some CIV improvements. At the PC, just scroll down and click that download and you'll get the you'll get the file. It'll go to your download folder if you Click your little file explorer here, that yellow one at the bottom. Go to downloads. It's going to be there. Look, it's that white one called 52E124. So that's it. Then we'll uh, all we've got to do now is just open up this. Go to our USB drive that's in our PC, which is here. And the easiest way is just to drag it in. So there's our USB drive. We go to download, oh, go, right click the little yellow folder and go to downloads. And you're gonna open up another window and you're gonna see your file there. Just drag it across like so. So it appears here and then when it's here, just click on it and then push it up until it says move to ID 52 and it's in the right place now. Then all we've got to do is take it out of the, the adapter and put it back into the radio and then we can do our firmware. Okay, we're at the radio. We're gonna put this in, like so. Careful, don't force it. Here is a very light click. Then we'll go, we'll just back out completely, we're pushing the VFO, and then we'll go back in, menu. Go to, move, maneuver to setting, select, SD card, up to firmware update, select, you get the warning. Or do we have to scroll down? Yep, scroll down. Do you agree? And you go, yes. Make a backup, we've already done that. So we go no this time, but you can say yes and it will back up. Finds the firmware, 52E1.24, which is one, what we want. Oh, and it says illegal data. Ah, I've just realized now, I've got the Japanese version, so I'm gonna go and get the Japanese version. Okay, that's in there, select, go down. Do you want to update? Yes. Checking file, loading firmware. It's, it's, it's a very easy firmware update on the 52 and the 705. Updating DSP. Now make sure you've got full battery when you're doing this. Now the more recent firmware updates to the 705 added the uh, the sort of Wi-Fi way of connecting to repeaters. I think they call it monitor mode. But anyway, let's see if that's in there. We'll go menu, set, go down to others, information, version they are 1.24 so everything is updated so let's see if we can find what they're on about so go settings bluetooth bluetooth on headset data yeah i'm not seeing any obvious change 
but at least we've got the uh, the firmware now. Turn up the volume. Yeah, not much activity tonight. Anyway, that's it. That's your firmware done. Thanks for watching my channel. 73.